Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Our honoree this morning, Ryan Vogelsong, was a 2005 inductee to the KU Athletics Hall of Fame after a stellar college career as a pitcher and a third baseman for the Kutztown University baseball team from 1996 through 1998. He finished his career with nine school records for the Golden Bears. In 2000, Ryan was named one of KU's top male athletes of the 1990s and one of KU's top 30 athletes of the 20th century. Coming to KU from Octorera High School, Ryan emerged onto the scene as one of the top pitchers in NCAA Division II as a sophomore in 1997. That year, he tied KU's single season record for wins with nine and earned all PSAC East first team honors while helping the team to the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference Eastern Division title. It was KU's first baseball title since winning the PSAC championship in 1966 and the first postseason appearance since 1972. It would also mark the beginning of unprecedented success for Golden Bear baseball for many years to come. Then as a junior, Ryan dominated PSAC hitters en route to a KU record and NCAA Division II leading 1.41 earned run average. He again won nine games and struck out a school record 109 batters. That year, Ryan was a second team All-American, North Atlantic Region Pitcher of the Year, PSAC East Player of the Year, First Team All-Region, and All-PSAC East and the KU Male Athlete of the Year. In addition, Ryan was a career 304 hitter as a third baseman, finishing in KU's top five all-time with 73 runs batted in. At the conclusion of that junior year in 1998, Ryan was selected by the San Francisco Giants in the fifth round of the Major League Baseball Draft, KU's highest ever draft choice. He made his Major League debut on September 2nd, 2000 against the Chicago Cubs. Ryan was then traded to the Pittsburgh Pirates in 2001 and played four seasons with Pittsburgh. It was after his stint with the Pirates that Ryan's underdog story took a most unique turn. After overcoming an injury to his throwing arm that required Tommy John surgery and working his way back through stints playing baseball in Japan and the minor leagues, Ryan earned a spot on the San Francisco Giants roster once again in the 2011 season. Since returning to the Giants, he was named to the 2011 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. He also played a key role in two World Series championships with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. In four starts in the 2012 postseason, Ryan held an outstanding 1.09 ERA by allowing just three earned runs in 24 and two-thirds innings. He held a 3-0 record on the hill and was arguably the MVP of the postseason for the Giants. In 11 seasons in the majors, Ryan has pitched in 265 career games, making 165 starts. He has 58 wins with a 4.45 ERA, with his best season coming in that 2011 All-Star campaign when he posted a 13-7 record and a 2.71 ERA. He has notched 839 career strikeouts in 1,107 and two-thirds career innings. This morning, in honor of these great accomplishments, we have presentations from the borough of Kutztown, the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference, and the Kutztown University President's Office. Then, at halftime of today's homecoming football game, Ryan's number 14, which he wore with the Golden Bears for his three years with the program, will be retired in a short ceremony. Now for our first presentation. Most of you are probably aware this is a historic year for both Kutztown University and the borough of Kutztown. The university is in the midst of its sesquicentennial celebration in honor of 150 years since its founding. And the borough of Kutztown celebrated its bicentennial this past summer in honor of its 200th anniversary. Please welcome our first presenter this morning, the mayor of the borough of Kutztown, Ms. Sandy Green. Good morning. It's my pleasure to award and present Ryan Vogelson in recognition of your accomplishment as the as a Kutztown University Golden Bear athlete and for your esteemed career in Major League Baseball, the mayor and the council of the borough of Kutztown to here present you the key to the town. It's my pleasure to give you the key. <laughs> just, just on a side note, my husband's here today, Martin, and my son, Jason Weitzel. Um, in 2007, they d flew to Japan to see five games in five days of baseball. And the first game they saw, Ryan was pitching. So they had the honor of seeing Ryan pitch in Japan. So again, congratulations. Thank you very much. KU has been a longtime member of the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference, which consists of 18 institutions located within the Commonwealth, making it the largest NCAA conference. 
The league is also distinguished as one of the largest football playing conferences in the NCAA, and the PSAC sponsors the second most championships in Division II. Please welcome the Commissioner of the PSAC, Mr. Steve Murray. I mentioned to uh, Ryan earlier that I, I, I appreciate him making me feel old. This is the first time we presented the award to an athlete that actually played while I worked in the conference office. So thanks a lot for that. Um, I think Ryan's a perfect example of what it is and why we do what we do at state universities and Division II. Uh, probably a first or second generation college attendee in the family. Um, a local area kid, a little bit of scholarship money probably to come play, probably way little too much, <laughs> way little scholarship money. And they come to, because they want to play it. They come because they want to play baseball and have fun and enjoy the experience. And I think Ryan's a perfect example of the 9,000 student athletes and several that are in the room uh, right now about why we do what we do at, at the Division II level and, and have that opportunity for them. It's all about opportunity at our level, creating those opportunities for uh, student athletes have come through the system. I think what's most impressive, and I think the story of Ryan's opportunity to reconstruct his career um, and, and, and move on and from an injury, surgery, go develop your skills again, a new system of pitching, and come back and have a two-time World Series opportunity well into your career where only many players only get to play a few years is, is, is truly impressive and probably the bigger uh, accomplishment of your career is, is be able to stay in there and hustle and, and keep working and that I think is is true testament to the quality of a person that you are. Uh, this is only the eighth time we've given out the PSAC Award of Merit uh, and, and I'm going to give you the list of the eight and, and you'll see why this is not, you know, you can't get these down at Walmart. Um, <laughs> two, uh, the first two recipients were 1992 uh, Olympians. Steve Spence who's now the coach at Shippensburg and Bruce Baumgartner, who's the athletic director and head wrestling coach, I mean, uh, athletic director and then head wrestling coach at Edinburgh. Uh, they were 19, 1992 Olympians, and Bruce is the all-time heavyweight, the most famous heavyweight wrestler in, in, in American history, four-time Olympic medalist. Kurt Angle, 1996 Olympic gold medalist, was a, the third recipient. Fourth recipient was Chuck Daly from Bloomsburg University, who was the coach of the Dream Team and the longtime NBA coach. Uh, the fifth was Wade Chalice. Wade Chalice is a clarion wrestler, and if you grew up in Pennsylvania, you know anything about wrestling, Wade Chalice's name was one of the first ones you'd ever mention. Wade's the all-time pins leader in NCAA history. 153 wins, but 106 pins, which is, it may never be caught. Uh, the next recipient, Jan Hutchinson, who was the softball and field hockey coach at Bloomsburg, she has 1,806 wins, the winningest female coach in NCAA history. And then last year, about this time, we presented Andre Reed, NFL Hall of Famer, the first NFL Hall of Famer. Now this year we get to present to Kutztown, their second time to have a, an Award of Merit winner, uh, to um, Ryan, who is our first Major League Baseball player to receive the award, first All-Star and first World Series champion. So for the PSAC Award of Merit, which is in recognition of honor and distinction that you have brought to the PSAC, I'd like to present this to Ryan Volvesan. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Our next guest will be speaking on behalf of the Kutztown University baseball team. He was a starter at first base for the Golden Bears last season, had a career-high 317 batting average. In the classroom, he is a PSAC scholar athlete and was named to the Dean's List in the spring. Please welcome Brady McNabb. I want to first thank President Hawkinson for inviting us to be here this morning and allowing us to be part of such a special day. Uh, as Golden Bears student athletes, we're very proud of Ryan and um, we truly appreciate everything he's done for our program. On behalf of the team, I'd like to thank Ryan for his donation of resources and equipment for the team, uh, specifically the travel suits that we're wearing today. Uh, his generosity helps elevate our program to be just a little bit better than the rest of the uh, PSAC. I also want to thank him for the time he spends coming to practices, um, talking to our guys, you know, answering questions, uh, signs baseballs, cards, um, you know, taking pictures with us, whatever it is to make us feel like we're part of the, uh, the KU Baseball Brotherhood. 
Um, Ryan leads by example through his positive actions in the public eye, uh, how he gives back to the program, to the players. Uh, he truly is a great role model for us. Um, he's an inspiration to all of us as we move out into the real world, as we start applying for jobs. He reminds us to never give up on our dreams, uh, to never let anybody tell us that we can't do something. Uh, he reminds us that if we keep working on our trade, no matter how hard it gets, uh, if things don't go our way, we just have to persevere, you know, keep moving forward, and come out on top. Ryan's story is truly amazing, and my teammates and I are all glad that we were able to be here today and play just a small role um, in this day for him and his life and his accomplishments. So thank you for everything you do for the Golden Bears and for Kutztown University. Thank you, Brady. We look forward to seeing you and your teammates on the field during the halftime ceremony today. The Kutztown University President's Medal was established in 2014. Past recipients of the medal include William Ribble, class of 73, and KU, KU Pro Football Hall of Famer Andre Reed, class of 2005. Here to present the third medal is our gracious host this morning, the newly appointed president of Kutztown University, Dr. Kenneth S. Hawkinson. Okay, in addition to the pageantry and excitement associated with this week's homecoming, we have a unique opportunity to honor our own Major League Baseball All-Star and two-time World Series champion. I know our students and fans are really looking forward to the public ceremony at halftime today when we will retire Ryan's jersey. This morning I'll be presenting the Kutztown University President's Medal. The President's Medal was created and award, to award individuals who bring honor and distinction to our institution and who serve as examples to our students and to our alumni. Now most of you are aware that Kutztown University is celebrating its sesquicentennial. That means our institution is approaching its 150th birthday next September. In addition, our football team is celebrating its 100th season. Now, football began in 1895, but it was the second sport to exist at this institution. The first, of course, was baseball. In the history of our baseball program, which has existed approximately 125 years, we have had just two players play Major League Baseball. The first, KU Hall of Famer, Harry Roque, played for the Philadelphia Phillies and the St. Louis Browns in 1906, 1914, and 1915. The other, of course, is here with us today. Now, while Ryan's efforts to achieve Major League status are impressive enough, to consider that he made the All-Star team and helped the Giants win two World Series titles late in his career are a tribute to his perseverance and his work ethic. Ryan's story should encourage everyone and really applies to all walks of life. His fairy tale story could have ended after he was drafted out of Kutztown and went on to play in the majors for the Giants and the Pirates. It could have ended after the devastating injury to his right arm, his tool of trade. But Ryan taught us all to never give up on our dream. In fact, he pursued his dream to another part of the world, Japan, where he regained his strength and his form. He fought his way back through the minor leagues upon returning to the United States. He endured more bumps in the road before he finally found himself back on the Giants roster. And from there, he wrote, rewrote not only his history, but helped to rewrite the history of the entire franchise. Ryan, you're a true inspiration for all of us. I want to thank you for all that you have done for Kutztown University. And I want you to know that those of us who bleed maroon and gold are very proud of you. It is now my honor and privilege to present you with the prestigious Kutztown University President's Medal. If I can get it open. <laughs> Ryan, it's now my honor to present you with the prestigious <laughs> Kutztown President's Medal. Congratulations. Well, first of all, uh, thank everybody who's here today. Whether I met you in the past, I haven't met you. I appreciate everyone who's here, especially 
the team, it's, it's good to see you guys here. I know it's a uh, Friday night homecoming. It's probably a long night for some of you, so I appreciate you getting up this morning. Um, Mr. President, thank you very much for, for the medal. It's, uh, it means a lot. It really does. Conference Pre Commissioner, thank you for the award of merit. It's, uh, it's truly an honor. Um, I say this a lot when I speak, and I, I never started playing this game to receive awards or honors. I, I play it because I love it, and I love to compete, and I play it because I wanted to be the best pitcher in the world at some point. And I feel like I got close at points, and, and sometimes I wasn't. And I'm not done yet, so I'm going to keep trying to be the best. But what these honors do is tell you that all the hard work that you do when no one's watching is paying off. When you're in the gym and everyone else is in bed, when you're riding a bus, when you're on the airplane, uh, when you're packing houses with your wife, um, when all the crazy stuff's going on that, that everyone else doesn't get to see, when you're not on TV, when you're not on Sports Center, these awards, is, it's, it, sh it shows that it's paying off. And I'm, I'm truly grateful and, and humbled and honored to, to receive them. And, and I thank the university and the PSAC very much, and the borough as well. Um, while I'm here, there's a couple people I need to thank. First of all, my wife um, and Ryder, my son. Uh, none of this is possible without you guys. Um, all the moving. Uh, Nicole takes care of all the moving when we move city to city, uh, from Downingtown to Scottsdale to San Francisco and back. Um, it just gives me really the opportunity to worry about being a baseball player and being a dad, and she makes my life so much easier. Um, Stevie. Thanks for being here today. I'm not here without you. Um, we went through a lot here at school before we got here. Steve and I have known each other since we were 16 years old. So um, we played against each other in high school. Um, we were roommates here. We practiced a lot, worked harder in the weight room, a lot of playing catch. And uh, Stevie still catches me today when I'm getting ready to go back for the season. He's my catcher in the wintertime. So Stevie, it, all this stuff doesn't happen without you, brother. Bloomy. Um, Bloomy was my assistant coach when I was here. And uh, the head coach that was here when, when I was here, I loved him. Matt Royer was a great guy, but he was a little tough to talk to at times. And kind of being the leader of the team, Bloomy was my sounding board, and he was my guy to go to and complain and talk and try and figure things out when I couldn't talk to coach. And Bloomy and I, to this day, are still very close. We talk quite a bit. Um, so Blooming, thanks for everything you do. Thanks for being a coach. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a shoulder, an ear. Because uh, there's times during the season when things aren't going well, and I, I call Blooming just because I need to hear a different perspective and make sure that I'm not going crazy. And Jack, Jack Entrican was, uh, like they said, he's a, he's a trainer here. He was a trainer for the baseball team. And without a doubt, 100%, I'm not standing here without you. Um, Jack taught me how to take care of myself when other guys weren't doing it yet. When I got to school here, we were lifting weights, but nobody really knew why or what to do. Nobody was taking care of their shoulder. Nobody was doing a rotator cuff program, um, which is essential for a baseball player, obviously. Um, and Jack took me aside, and, and I said to him, I said, I want to be the best. I want to be the best pitcher in Kutztown history. I want to be the best pitcher in the major leagues, and I want to take this thing as far as I can. So what do I need to do? And he took a time that he probably didn't have the time because he had a couple of young guys uh, running around the house and showed me everything that I needed to do. And after that, it was up to me. But without your guidance, um, I, I know for sure there's no way I'm still pitching a 38 because there's a lot of the stuff you taught me that I still do. Uh, so there's no way I'm still playing this game without without your foundation that you taught me in the training room. And the guy that's not here, Matt Royer, um, I, I'm not a, I'm not at Kutztown University without Coach Royer. Uh, I was just a skinny little kid from Chester County, playing shortstop in a cornfield at Octavera High School with cows running around the outfield. Um, <laughs> just hoping that I was going to get a chance to play college baseball and an opportunity to go to the major leagues. And Coach Royer saw something in me that, that not a lot of other coaches saw. And um, thank goodness he did. And thank goodness he made it possible for me to come here. Um, 
you know, I talk to a lot of guys about other colleges that they went to and big Division One programs, and I feel like that Kutztown has something very special that a lot of those other places don't have. Um, they might have better equipment and some better training facilities and all that, but they don't have the family like we have here. So I'm very thankful and fortunate that, that I ran into Matt Royer, and I, tell, I told him that on the phone the other day, so I talked to him. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm very honored and humbled to accept these gifts and these honors, and um, thank you very much for having me. It's, it's great to be able to come back here for the day and let my son see where daddy played some baseball, and he's seen the San Francisco, so he thinks that's what everything's about. <laughs> he thinks that when you're eight and 10, you play um, AT&T Park, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's great for him to be able to see see the campus and see where daddy went to school and, and play a little bit. So thanks for having us. Thank you for everything. And um, I'll see you guys out at the football game.